In the upcoming version of the Tesla Semi, production will shift to a brand new manufacturing facility. One of the most important upgrades involves moving away from the current 2,170 battery cells in favor of the newer 4,680 cells. This change marks a big leap forward in performance. The 4,680 cells are much larger, offering roughly five times the energy capacity and six times the power output. That means the semi can travel longer distances on a single charge without adding a ton of extra batteries. A huge advantage for electric trucks, where keeping weight low directly boosts cargo capacity. Elon Musk has often pointed out, if you're running a logistics company and haven't made the switch to electric, you're falling behind. Lower fuel use, reduced maintenance, and major cost savings. Those are the clear benefits. On Tesla's order page, it's highlighted that charging a semi with electricity is about half the cost per mile compared to filling up a diesel truck. In fact, owners could save as much as $150,000 on fuel alone within the first three years. Add to that remote diagnostics, over-the-air software updates, and fewer parts that can break, and you've got a vehicle that spends more time on the road and less time in the shop. Big names like PepsiCo, DHL, and Saya have already tested the Tesla Semi, and confirm its real-world performance is as efficient as promised. The truck uses just 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile, which translates to roughly 30 cents per mile in energy costs. So for a 6.5 mile trip, you're looking at around $3.30. By contrast, a traditional diesel truck needs about one gallon of fuel to cover the same distance, and with diesel prices hovering near $3.66 per gallon, the cost is clearly higher. But the savings don't stop there. Electric trucks are mechanically simpler than their diesel counterparts. No internal combustion engine, no complicated transmission, and far fewer moving parts. This simplicity means fewer breakdowns and lower maintenance costs. Tesla estimates maintenance costs for the semi to be about $0.10 cents per mile, around $50,000 over five years if you drive 100,000 miles annually. For a diesel truck, that figure can double with costs reaching $0.20 cents per mile or $100,000 over the same period due to things like oil changes and engine servicing. Durability is another strong point. Dan Priestley from Tesla noted that the semi-fleet has achieved an uptime of up to 95%, including both planned and unplanned maintenance. One truck has even clocked more than 248,000 miles in just a year and a half without needing major repairs. Compare that to aging diesel trucks, which tend to become more costly to maintain as they rack up mileage. Now, a fair question is, if the Tesla Semi is this good, why aren't we seeing them everywhere yet? Many people don't even realize Tesla makes a heavy-duty truck. That's something Tesla has been working on, but scaling up takes time. The Semi was first revealed back in 2017, and initial deliveries didn't start until 2022. Since then, only about 300 trucks have been built, an extremely limited run over several years, which Tesla itself has referred to as production hell. The main reason for the slow rollout, limited manufacturing space, and the need for extensive testing. Tesla's Nevada Gigafactory, the main site for semi and battery production, spans 5.4 million square feet. While that sounds huge, it's not enough to support full-scale truck manufacturing which is far more space-intensive than building sedans or SUVs. Since delivering the first units to PepsiCo, Tesla has only produced about 20,000 semis, and that includes around 100 that the company kept for its own use. Most of the rest went to early reservation holders. But things are set to change dramatically. Tesla is investing $3.6 billion into a new facility dedicated to semi-production. That plan is about 60% completed, and could start mass production as early as the fourth quarter of this year. Once fully operational, it's expected to churn out around 10,000 units annually, with plans to scale even further. The new factory will add another 4 million square feet of space, allowing Tesla to build a semi at a much larger scale. While official production targets haven't been shared yet, Elon Musk has said he expects Tesla to produce up to 50,000 semis per year by 2026. That's more than 135 trucks every day, or roughly one every 10 to 15 minutes, assuming the factory runs around the clock. In October, 
Tesla shipped two semis to Europe, and Musk confirmed on X that the semi will be sold worldwide. Originally, it was believed the truck might only be viable in the U.S. due to size and regulation differences, but Tesla has confirmed that versions produced in Giga Berlin will be adapted for European standards. Even better, customers will have customization options. If a fleet only needs to cover shorter distances, say, 250 to 300 miles, Tesla can fit the semi with a smaller battery pack and tailor its features to meet specific business needs. If you're looking to purchase the Tesla Semi at a more accessible price, you're in luck. Last year, the 500-mile range version was priced at around $250,000. When it comes to expanding into international markets, Tesla has pointed out that only minor modifications, like adjusting the wheel covers and turn signals, would be necessary to meet different regional regulations. Interestingly, from the early design stages, Tesla envisioned the semi as a truck that will align closely with global standards. This forward-thinking approach means that bringing the semi to regions beyond North America doesn't require major re-engineering. Tesla offers two range options, one for 300 miles and another for 500 miles, each with different sizes. However, the current models don't yet include a sleeper cabin. For European markets, where regulations demand a sleeping compartment, Tesla plans to install a metal frame sleeper behind the cabin. As confirmed by Dan Priestley, this will enable drivers to take on longer hauls more comfortably. Even without the sleeper option, the Tesla Semi already boasts a roomy interior, intuitive layout, and a modern control interface with two large touchscreens and Tesla's advanced software. Charging is also quick and efficient, reaching up to 70% in just 30 minutes. During that time, drivers can rest or unload, making it ideal for busy logistics operations. Driving comfort is further enhanced by features like regenerator braking and an independent front suspension, which means drivers rarely need to use the brake pedal. These features have generated excitement among professional drivers, who are also impressed by the semi's unconventional but practical design. Unlike traditional trucks where the driver sits to one side, the Tesla Semi places a driver's seat in the center, offering a better field of vision, minimizing blind spots, and improving maneuverability in tight spaces. This centralized design also simplifies international production, as it fits seamlessly into both left-hand and right-hand traffic systems, without needing structural changes. Inside, the cabin feels spacious and accessible, allowing easier entry and exit. The dual screens make it simple for drivers to stay informed without distraction, and the layout supports driver assistance systems, helping reduce fatigue over long distances. Truck driving remains one of the riskiest jobs out there. According to the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, there were over 168,000 fatalities and more than 71,000 injuries involving large trucks in a recent year, a chilling statistic. One key issue is fatigue. As drivers are often pushed to work long hours under pressure, especially during overnight hauls. This results in slower reaction times and increased accident risks. To combat these challenges and make the profession more sustainable, Elon Musk recently announced that the Tesla Semi will soon be equipped with Tesla's full self-driving FSD system, likely by the end of this year. This upgrade could offer immense value in tackling the industry's growing driver shortage. With autonomous capabilities, the truck could handle long stretches of highway driving on its own, giving drivers a chance to rest and recharge while maintaining productivity. This not only improves safety but can make truck driving a more appealing career for new entrants. That said, human oversight will still be essential for complex driving scenarios, such as navigating tight urban areas or parking. One of the greatest benefits of FSD is its ability to operate almost nonstop, reducing downtime, and increasing transport efficiency across long distances. Back in 2020, Bill Gates argued that electric batteries wouldn't be a practical solution for heavy-duty applications like long-haul trucks, cargo ships, or airplanes. He suggested electric freight transport wouldn't be viable. Elon Musk, however, was quick to disagree, stating that Gates simply didn't understand the potential of electric trucking. And now... With the Tesla Semi proving its capabilities on real roads, Musk seems to have a strong case. If, within the next few years, the Semi expands into global markets, the environmental impact could be transformative. 
The U.S. National Renewable Energy Laboratory has found that medium and heavy-duty trucks use more than 25% of the country's total fuel, despite making up just 4% of the vehicle population. Replacing these with electric alternatives could dramatically reduce emissions and curb our reliance on polluting fossil fuels. So, for anyone who values cleaner air and a more sustainable future, switching to electric trucks like the Tesla Semi makes more sense than ever. Breaking into the electric truck market remains a tough challenge. Building these heavy-duty vehicles demands massive production capacity and serious capital investment. Without that, companies run the risk of incurring major financial losses. A recent example is Nikola Corporation, the same company that once filed a lawsuit against Tesla over design similarities between the Tesla Semi and its Nikola One prototype. According to a report from the Wall Street Journal, Nikola is now grappling with potential bankruptcy. The company is reportedly working with the law firm Pillsbury Winthrop Shaw Pittman to explore its options, which include selling parts of business or filing for bankruptcy protection to reorganize. A spokesperson for Nikola confirmed that the company is still reviewing its financial outlook and actively seeking new funding to stay afloat. Nikola was once seen as a serious contender in the race for sustainable transportation. But things began to unravel in 2020 when Hindenburg Research released a damning report accusing the company and its then-CEO Trevor Milton of misleading investors by overstating their technological achievements. The fallout was severe. Milton was found guilty of fraud in 2022 and is currently appealing his conviction. Since then, Nikola has tried to move forward under new management and even rolled out the Nikola trade truck. Still, the financial troubles persist. Their latest earnings report shows that while over 80 trucks were built in the third quarter, the company posted a net loss approaching $200 million. With these ongoing losses and mounting pressure, Nikola's long-term future looks increasingly uncertain. Meanwhile, Tesla appears to have dodged the kind of production nightmares many expected when the semi was first announced nearly eight years ago. Rather than getting stuck in production hell, Tesla is now on the brink of transforming the freight industry. With full-scale rollout expected by the end of the year, the semi seems poised to lead the way in electric trucking. So, how does the Tesla semi stack up? According to Elon Musk, 2025 will be the best time to invest in a Tesla semi, especially with potential to reduce total cost of ownership, TCO, by as much as 22% over the next five years. With stricter rules on Class A truck operations, tighter inspections, and more fines for violations, staying profitable will only become harder for diesel fleets. Local governments may start enforcing regulations more aggressively. Even small infractions could carry hefty costs. That's where Tesla's advanced technology steps in. The semi is engineered not just for performance, but also to help fleet operators avoid penalties and operate more efficiently. With an impressive 500-mile range for charge and the ability to recharge up to 70% in less than 30 minutes, it's a practical and powerful alternative to traditional trucks. Tesla's in-house battery tech plays a big role in making this possible, and all without needing to raise the Department of Transportation's 88,000-pound weight limit giving a major leg up on diesel rivals. But why is a Tesla Semi considered such a milestone in transportation? In this episode, we'll explore four key reasons why Elon Musk believes Tesla's electric trucks will dominate the industry by 2025. And trust us, reason number four is truly surprising. Welcome to Tesla Car World. Trucks may represent just 1% of total vehicles, but they're responsible for 20% of emissions and over one-third of particulate pollution. Even more alarming is their contribution to carcinogenic diesel fumes, posing real risks to public health and the environment. At the launch of the Tesla Semi, Musk emphasized that this is not just an incremental improvement. It's a complete leap forward. Packed with cutting-edge features, the Semi isn't just about going green. It's about redefining what a commercial truck can be. Beyond just being environmentally friendly, the Tesla Semi also offers a serious economic edge over traditional diesel trucks, even in tough, real-world conditions. In some scenarios, it might even compete with rail transport in terms of efficiency and cost. But bringing the Tesla Semi to life was far from simple. It's not just a matter of adding batteries and an electric motor, then calling it a day. Under Elon Musk's ambitious vision, 
Creating an electric truck that could truly disrupt the industry meant overcoming major engineering and manufacturing hurdles. The end goal? A vehicle that's not only innovative, but also reliable, scalable, and built to handle the demands of modern freight logistics. So, what impact would the upcoming 2025 tax policy changes have on truck drivers? As Elon once put it, I don't see why a trucking company wouldn't want to save money. It's all about fuel. That couldn't be more accurate. Take Jake, a 47-year-old trucker from California, who recently shared his experience. He explained that buying a brand new diesel sleeper truck today can cost around $250,000 when you include all the paperwork and fees. But the real financial burden comes later, fuel costs. Over roughly eight years of use, he estimates spending around $620,000 just on diesel. Now compare that to the Tesla Semi. Over the same time frame, electricity costs could total just $155,000. That's nearly half a million dollars in fuel savings alone. When you factor in those long-term savings, even the high upfront price of the semi, ranging from $180,000 to $250,000, starts to look like a smart investment. Looking ahead to 2025, changes in political landscape are reshaping EV incentives in the U.S. One of the most critical areas of focus is the tax credit system under the Inflation Reduction Act, IRA and how it will influence the heavy-duty electric truck market. While former President Trump has proposed eliminating EV tax credits, ending subsidies for charging infrastructure, and stopping federal support for battery and assembly line upgrades, Elon Musk has maintained that Tesla doesn't rely on government incentives to make its vehicles economically viable. That said, incentives like those in the IRA still offer a powerful boost to the industry. If companies meet certain criteria such as using U.S.-made components and batteries, eligible buyers of electric heavy-duty trucks could receive up to $40,000 in tax credits. That's about 15% of what a diesel semi might cost, and that's not even counting additional state-level incentives. States like California and New York are also offering rebates that help reduce the purchase cost of electric trucks bought within their borders. Here's a quick overview for those curious about how these incentives work. To qualify for the 2025 EV tax credit for a Tesla truck, buyers need to meet a few key requirements. The vehicle must be new, intended for personal or business use, and meet domestic production guidelines. This means final assembly must occur in North America, and a defined percentage of the battery's components must be sourced from within the region or from countries with free trade agreements with the U.S. There are also income caps that could limit who qualifies, and the size of the tax credit will vary depending on the truck's battery capacity and classification. In short, the larger the battery, the bigger the incentive, making certain Tesla models even more appealing from a financial standpoint. 